So serious bass fishing is just right around the corner. Trying to get prepared for it. I made another tackle warehouse order, um, but I went to the JDM, the Japanese domestic market section. You'll come over on the left side and you'll come down to JDM tackle. And then you can search any uh, the rods, reels, jigs, hard baits, swim baits, plastics, frogs, terminal tackle, and also line. So if you want to check out any of these products, that's uh, how you find it on Tech Warehouse. These are baits you can't find on the shelf at Walmart. So uh, I, I like to scan through them just to see if there's anything that I like. And a couple things caught my eye. So I decided to make an order. And so now I, I already have some of these, but I decided to stock up because I really like them. They are... Now, I don't know if I'm saying this, rinds or rains. Cool worms. These are green pumpkin. They're called the Swamp Mover Magnum. And then I got... Let's see. I got uh, two packs of green pumpkin. Scuppernong. I think I got two packs of those. So I like these worms. They're they're a little tougher plastic, harder plastic than the uh, like a Zoom Magnum trick. They have a little different profile. They're great worms, and I like to use them. I also picked up the uh, Swamp Mover regular size in Scupperdong, and these are. I don't know. I don't even know. I can't can't read Japanese, so but they're smaller. Um, let's see. Oh, it tells me on here. Okay, that's a four and a half and a six and a half inch. So then I got now this is called uh oh, fish arrow. See that fish arrow flash J split tail Wagasaki or Wagasagi silver four inch. I don't mean to destroy that those names, but I'm just reading the best I can. Now these are going to be awesome. I thought these could be great for uh, drop shots or shaky heads or anything that I'm uh, getting a smaller profile. I mean they look exactly like a minnow. So. But these are four inch, so they've got good size to them. You, ca you can catch giant bass on small baits. So this, um, you know, this is going to be something I use in a little bit clearer water possibly. But those, I think, can really do a great job catching fish. So the Fish Arrow Flash J. Killer looking minnow. Um, those aren't cheap. Those are like 10 bucks. But then I got a Flash J 5 inch. Now, a Flash J 5 inch, and a, this is a Mogul Silver 5 inch. Now, that's a lot bigger. But it doesn't have a split tail. It's got a straight, just a single. That's pretty cool. That looks good. It's got the holographic deal inside it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's got a little hook slit in the top. If you can see that. Hook slit. Yeah, again, on a uh, maybe a shaky head. or I mean, these things could go on anything. You could throw this on a Carolina rig. You could throw this on... Um, uh, it, honestly, you can throw it on anything. So, I'm probably going to throw it on a, this one on a pretty good size jig head. This is the Fish Arrow Flash J. And 
the water is almost ready to go fishing. So um, I need to actually use some of these. Okay. Let's see what these are. Now I thought these would be a little bigger. But I was buying them kind of as a trailer. It's the Kitek. The Easy Shiner Sight Flash 3 inch. It's a little bitty swim bait. I was getting it for a trailer. And it it will probably work as a trailer for a chatter bait or a spinner bait, but it um I don't know. I'm gonna check to see if they have bigger ones. I'd like to get a couple bigger ones, but Kitek makes great baits. And um, this one is no exception. So this will be, I got two packs of them. This will be great trailer, but anyway. So then, now I like these. These are uh, Kitek Custom Leech. One in Pro Blue Shiner and one in Black. Now, why do I get leeches? Leeches are in a lot of places, but I got it more for, um, I don't know what I got these for. I'm just kind of going outside the box thinking that if I need to get in a finesse situation, maybe I can throw a leech on like a drop shot or probably just a drop shot, but something like that. Um, and maybe pull out a couple fish in like a river that in, that has small limits. So we'll see. I don't even know why I bought those really. Um, I have antique lures. I uh, like collecting antique lures. So I actually found some stands at Tackle Warehouse. They're Kahara lure display stands. So I'll be able to display some lures. Now these are these are pretty cool and I got these I really like these this is a Kitek tungsten rubber jig and this is uh, their swim jig really like it Let's see if I can't get one of these open without too much trouble you know what's good is it's also, if you can see that right there, it's lead free. So you're not going to have to worry about um, any regulations coming over that are going to stop lead. This says it's hand tied, lead free, um, rubber skirt. Pretty cool. Get a nice hook on it. The skirt is actually on, it's not on the jig head, but it's on a, uh, like a little, the keeper swivels around the head and the skirt is on the keeper. There's the line tie. This will swivel. if you can see that so you're gonna put your bait just like that there's a demonstration and let's go ahead and throw one of these on there these are kind of small I might not use this for it I'd probably put a maybe a four inch bait on it five inch four inch probably um, but yeah, you get, you understand what's going on there. So I bought those, uh, two of them in gold flash minnow. Those are three, eight ounce, three eighths ounce and two of them in black. I like swim jigs. So. Okay. Um, one of the last things is now I wanted to add a little, I love topwater fishing and I wanted to add an, an element to my topwater that I have never used 
and these are pretty cool. They're called the Binksy by Jackal. And what it is, if you're not familiar with it, is this is so cool. This is a this is a killer bait. This will be awesome. And I love this paint job. Look at that. Isn't that cool? But anyway, it's a popper. It's got two trebles, but it's also got a spinner and it has got a small Colorado blade underneath for some flash. So you could imagine from the underneath of this, this is gonna attract the fish way differently than a regular popper will. Look at that. Check that out. That is cool. The Binksy. That is cool, but it's $15. So hopefully it catches some fish. That is really cool. I love that paint job. And then I also got one in Ghost Minnow and one in gold I don't even know gold something Dekawa or Oikwa whatever but that is awesome that that's going to be fished a lot until I lose it and get upset so last thing on the list I kind of wanted something that uh I don't have any reels that are lower than a six and I wanted a five gear ratio reel. So I went ahead and bought one of the uh, sale reels. I don't know if this is the best reel for cranking, but um, I went ahead and got it. It's a Daiwa. It's an older version, I think, and that's why it was on clearance, but it's the Daiwa Zillion TWS, which is T-Wing system. Now, I don't know if I want the T-Wing system for my crankbaits or not, so I might end up getting, um, I've got another reel that I might trade in to get one of the uh, SVs. But this is the, uh, this is a nice reel. It's the Zillion TWS 100P 5.5. Got the T-Wing system, um, Mag Force Z. It's got, let's see, 5.5. It's got, it's weighs seven and a half ounces, 13.2 pounds drag, um, has 11 bearings. Yeah, so. The Zillion. Oh, the Zillion. Man, those things are sexy. Daiwa puts out some good stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to try this with my cranking rod. I don't know. I, I don't really want to throw. I don't really want to throw shallow cranking with it because I'm afraid I won't be able to catch up with the fish but this gear ratio is better for the deeper diving crankbaits. So we'll see. I'm probably going to use it for that, but I don't know how, if the T-Wing system will be better for the long casts or not. If you know that, let me know. Um, yeah, so that's the order from Tackle Warehouse, and I probably won't order anything else before the season starts unless I start winning some money in some tournaments so I can pay for that. So I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Uh, share the videos, like the videos, give it a thumbs up, and check out my other videos and we'll see you out there.